What's up guys? I downloaded World Trade Center mods for Grand Theft Auto games and we're gonna make a comparison between each version. Author of this mod went a step further and created a World Trade Center 7 building as well. 7 building is absent in every other World Trade Center mod for GTA games for some reason. This beautiful building with red granite facade really gives that 90s or early 2000s feeling because it was last to be constructed as a part of the complex in 1987. And what a shame we lost it too. Now there seems to be a flickering problem with the tower's textures but other than that the mod looks perfect. South Tower does have the observation deck and looks beautiful. There's a pedestrian bridge as you can see, which is I believe a part of original game and it fits the complex perfectly as it almost reminds me of Liberty Street pedestrian bridge that connected World Trade Center and World Financial Center. GTA 3's early 2000s atmosphere really gives a more life to it. Interior obviously doesn't include more details or elevators to the office floors because GTA 3 doesn't have a required amount of objects to build that sort of environment. I know, Twin Towers and Vice City, which is largely based on Miami Beach, do look kinda weird, but you gotta admit the true that it also look cool. A big applause to the author who created this mod in 2003, just a year after Y City was released and two years after 9-11. Considering the mod is 20 years old, low quality building's textures shouldn't come as a surprise. There's a road that takes you to plaza and we got the sphere here, a couple of trees and a 9-11 monument. Quote, these buildings are dedicated to those who were lost or lost someone due to the most devastating terrorist attacks known to mankind. To seek justice, go up to the roof. Whoa, you can really feel how fresh the events were still back in 2003. Now I love the creativity, this guy aware he couldn't make the office floor interior, so instead he added this fun road that takes you up to the roof. So it was written to seek justice go up to the roof. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's surreal to think this mod was released in 2003, the same year when the US invaded Iraq. GTA San Andreas has a couple of different Twin Towers mods. Unfortunately, the one which had Twin Towers set in Liberty City is no longer available to download as it requires a popular modification, GTA United, that was taken down by creators themselves due to fear of legal action from Take-Two Interactive. Luckily, there's still this nice mod of Twin Towers but located in San Fierro. Seems to be a glitch with textures over there, but if we enter the lobby, it looks very nice. You even have a Windows 2000's logo here in the computer. The mod was created by a German guy cause we have a monument here with text written on German. Um, I don't speak German even though my friend once told me that, that Hitler would have loved me due to my physical looks, of course jokingly. We can see the elevator here but it's inaccessible. Guys, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know I've been using the World Trade Center mod for GTA 4 in a lot of my videos. It's arguably the most realistic Twin Towers mod and my personal favorite. This mod is filled with details. You can see the Liberty Street Bridge, often called the South Bridge between the World Trade Center 3 known as Marriott Hotel and World Financial Center. This bridge suffered significant damage on September 11, but magically it was extended and repaired and reopened in April 2002. This amazing mod also includes the coining sphere on Austin J. Tobin Plaza that survived the 9-11 attacks and a stainless steel sculpture known as Ideogram, unfortunately never recovered from the rubble. Creators attention to details is also visible inside the tower's lobby. You can take an elevator to the North Tower's 106th floor where a restaurant Windows on the World was located. South Tower's elevator takes you up to the observation deck and you can take a look at the Liberty City also by using binoculars. 
World Trade Center mod for GTA 5 looks almost identical besides the advanced graphics of course. As you can see, the plaza looks identical to the one from GTA 4, the only difference is that World Trade Center in GTA 5 is a bit too bright, like somebody just increased the brightness way too much and I don't think it's suitable to Liberty City's darker atmosphere. But of course, that's just my opinion. By the way, I don't have GTA 5 installed on my computer and that's why I'm using somebody else's video, so I better end it here guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish the short film I've been working for a while now, it's called Spider-Man Alternate Reality in which Spider-Man saves the Twin Towers on 9-11. So stay tuned for the next video guys and see ya!